How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the how to guy 123 here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert a Windows installation on a physical PC to a VirtualBox virtual machine. This tutorial should also generally apply to other hypervisors or virtual machine software. To begin, we will need to download disk to VHD on the computer we want to convert to a VM. Disk to VHD can be downloaded from Microsoft's website and I'll leave a link to download it in the description below. Disk to VHD will create a virtual hard disk captured from the physical disk, which contains Windows along with all of your files and programs, and will be able to boot to this virtual hard disk from a virtual machine. Disk to VHD will run on all versions of Windows between Windows Vista to Windows 11, so you can convert an older Windows install to a VM if you'd like. Once on the page, click Download Disk to VHD, and I'm going to save the download onto my desktop for easy access. Once disk to VHD has been downloaded, we will need to extract the zip folder. Right click on it and choose extract all. Click extract and a folder containing the software will appear on our desktop. Open up the folder and run disk to VHD 64.exe. It may take some time to open and when it does, accept the license agreement. You'll then see a window that looks like this. First, we will need to select the partitions we'd like to include in our virtual hard disk. Typically, you'd want to include the C partition, which includes Windows, along with all the hidden partitions, which includes the EFI and system reserve partitions. You can also convert multiple drives, so in this example, I'll capture the F drive, which is a second SSD I have connected to this PC for storing extra files. When you convert any additional drives, they'll be converted into a separate virtual hard disk file, which I'll show you later in this video. I'm going to uncheck the D drive, as this is an external USB hard drive, which I'll be saving my virtual hard disk files onto. Next, check Use Volume Shadow Copy. Volume Shadow Copy will create a snapshot of the system right when you click the Create button. One of the benefits of using Volume Shadow Copy is that it allows you to continue to use your computer while Disk to VHD is creating our virtual hard disk files. Now uncheck Use VHDX. If you leave Use VHDX checked, your virtual hard disk will be created in a VHDX format. If you leave it unchecked, your virtual hard disk will be created in a VHD format. VirtualBox does not support VHDX so we will need to leave this unchecked. Finally, choose the save location for your converted virtual hard disk. Click the button with the three dots to browse your computer for your save location. As I mentioned before, I'm going to choose the save my VHD files to an external hard drive so that I can easily move it to another computer where I'll create my virtual machine. Give your virtual hard disk a name, then click save. Click the Create button to begin to convert your physical hard disk to a virtual hard disk. This can take some time depending on how many files need to be converted and the speed of your output drive. When Disk to VHD is done converting your physical disks into virtual hard disks, it will say Disk Export to VHD completed successfully. We can now close out of Disk to VHD. If I go to my external hard drive, which is where I exported my virtual hard disk to, you'll see that I have two VHD files. The file VHD Tutorial 1 is the virtual hard disk that contains my C drive with Windows installed, and the file VHD Tutorial 0 is the virtual hard disk for my second SSD. So disk to VHD created two separate VHD files for the different drives. I'm now going to move over to the computer that I'm going to run my virtual machine on and I'm going to copy the virtual hard disks from my external hard drive onto my SSD so that the VM will run faster. Now that the VHD files are copied, we can open up VirtualBox. Once in VirtualBox, click the new button to create a new virtual machine. This window is going to come up. I'm going to create my virtual machine in expert mode, so I recommend switching your virtual machine setup to expert mode as well, so it will be easier to follow along with this tutorial. 
Simply click the Expert Mode button at the bottom of the window to switch the setup to Expert Mode. First, give your VM a name. I'll just call mine VHD Tutorial. The folder dropdown is where your virtual machine files are going to be located on your computer. Your virtual machine does not need to be saved to the same directory as your virtual hard disks. We can leave the ISO image dropdown blank since we are not going to be installing any operating systems from an ISO file. Next, set the type as Microsoft Windows and the version as the version of Windows that you have installed on your virtual hard disk. In my case, it's Windows 11. We can skip over the unattended install tab and taking a look under the hardware tab, I'm going to give my virtual machine 8GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores. Finally, we have the hard disk tab. Here, choose use an existing hard disk file, then click this folder icon. This will open up a hard disk selector, click the add button, then browse your computer for the virtual hard disk, which includes windows that we converted from our PC. Make sure that your VHD file is highlighted in the hard disk selector, then click the choose button. Now click the finish button to create your virtual machine. Before I launch my VM, I also want to add a second VHD file that was from my second SSD in my PC. So I'm going to make sure that my VM is highlighted. Then I'm going to click the settings button at the top of the screen. A settings window will open up. Choose the storage tab and click the hard drive icon on the SATA controller. The hard disk selector will open up again. Click add and browse your computer for the second virtual hard disk file. Once again, make sure the VHD file is highlighted and click the choose button. While I'm in the VM settings, I'm also going to go to the display tab and turn on 3D acceleration, then bump the video memory up to 256 megabytes for a bit of added performance. Now click on OK to close out of the VM settings. We can now click on the start button to launch our virtual machine. Once your VM launches, it will boot into Windows. This install of Windows running on our VM will be exactly the same as when we converted it from our physical PC. Your files and programs will all be there and your settings will be the same. If I open up the file explorer, you can see that my F drive has been mounted. And if I open it, all the files that were on my SSD have been copied over. The last thing we need to do is install VirtualBox guest editions. This will allow our VM to run in full screen and increase the performance of our VM. In the menu bar at the top of the screen, go to Devices and choose Insert Guest Editions CD Image. You'll see a notification that a VirtualBox Guest Edition CD has been inserted into the PC. Click on it and a dialog box will appear. Click Run VBox Windows Editions.exe to open up the installer. Follow the installer and use the default options to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Once Guest Editions has been installed, restart your VM. And once you've booted back into Windows, you'll be able to full screen the VM by clicking View in the menu bar, then choosing Full Screen. And that's pretty much all there is to it, to converting a Windows install on a physical PC to a VirtualBox virtual machine. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. And I'll see you guys in my next video.